Hello everyone, today we are going to talk about molecular docking. Molecular docking is the process that involves placing molecules in appropriate configurations to interact with a receptor. In molecular modeling, the term molecular docking refers to the study of how two or more molecular structures fit together. Let's consider this example in which an antigen can bind to an antibody, a substrate can bind to an enzyme. For transportation of different molecules in our body, different molecules can bind to their carrier molecules. Ligands can bind to receptors for their signaling. So all of these reactions can involve binding or fitting of one molecular structure to another molecular structure. All of these reactions can involve for performing different biochemical reactions in our body. So depending upon this figure, we can say that molecular docking have different applications like the first and important application is the enzymatic reaction mechanism study. So we can study about the different enzymatic reaction mechanisms. We can go for the prediction of different biological activities. We can go for the protein-protein interactions or the protein nucleic acid interactions. We can go for the protein engineering studies. We can go for the lead optimization in drug discovery or we can go for the hit identification in virtual screening. Or we can go for the structure and function studies or finally we can go for the blind docking for binding site interactions so these are the different applications of molecular docking now the docking can be between the protein and the ligand the protein and the protein and the nucleic acid and the protein among all of these docking the protein and the ligand docking is the most important docking which is used to predict the position and the orientation of a ligand when it is bound to a protein receptor or enzyme the second in uh, docking is protein and protein docking and it is important because as we all know that the biological activities can depend on the specific recognitions of the proteins and to understand the protein interactions networks in a cell we can go for the protein protein docking or we can also predict the complex structures of individual proteins the third type of docking is in between the nucleic acid and the proteins and it can be used to understand the biological processes like replication, transcription, RNA splicing, degradation of nucleic acids and the protein synthesis process which is also known as translation. Now the types of the docking. There are two main types of the docking. The first is the rigid docking which depends upon the lock and key hypothesis in which the ligand can fit perfectly into the receptor like a lock and a key. In this rigid docking, the internal geometry of both the receptor and the ligand are treated as rigid. The second type of docking is a flexible docking which depends upon the induced fit hypothesis. And according to this hypothesis, the binding of ligand to a receptor causes a change in the configuration of the receptor so as to enhance or inhibit its activity. In this flexible docking, an enumeration on the rotation of one of the molecules, usually the ligand, is performed. And for every rotation, the energy is calculated and later the most optimum pose is selected. Now what are the components of docking software? There are two main types of the components. The first is the search algorithm and the second is the scoring function. The search algorithm generates a large number of poses of a molecules in the binding site and the scoring function calculates a score or the binding affinity for a particular pose. 
the binding affinity or a score representing the strength of the binding now what are the docking stages there are four main docking stages the first is the target or the receptor selection and the preparation the second is the ligand selection and preparation the third is the docking and the fourth is the evaluating docking results so the first important uh, stage is the ligand the protein selection and the preparation the ligands can be obtained from the databases like zinc pubchem or can be drawn on the chem sketch the uh, ligands these ligands then can be assigned by charges we can define the rotable bonds we can rename the aromatic carbons and we can write the dot pdbqt ligand file in case of autodoc autodoc is a software for docking the second uh, is we can go for the protein selection and the preparation and we can get the protein from the 3d structures of the protein from the pdb pdb is a protein data bank and then we can add the essential hydrogens we can load the charges we can remove water molecules if it is required and then we can go for the identification of the active site within the receptor and then we can write the dot pdbqt protein file same in the case of the autodoc now after ligand protein selection and preparation we can go for the docking we can select the grid and then we can dock the ligand and the protein after docking we can go for the evaluation of the results the molecular docking is performed to attend the ligand receptor complex with optimized configuration and a less binding energy this less binding energy reveals the parameters like the electrostatic interactions the hydrogen bond interactions the van der waal interactions and the hydrophobic forces between the ligand and the receptor so this is an example in which uh, this is the ligand which can binds to a receptor this is the receptor having different amino acids so this picture can have different colored li dotted line which can show the different types of interaction between the ligand and the receptor's amino acids which are present in the active site of the receptor so this light green color shows the van der waal forces van der waal interactions among the ligand and the amino acids of the receptor this dark green color shows the hydrogen bond hydrogen bond among the ligand and the different amino acids present at the active site and these hydrogen bondings are very much important this color this orange color shows the pi anion interaction this pink color shows the pi pi interaction so these are different types of the interactions dotted line shows can different types of interaction among the amino acids which are present in the active site and the ligand so this figure can use to evaluate the result we can go for the minimum binding energy along with the different types of the interactions which are present among the ligand and the receptor now what are the growing evidence of the success there are different types of the drugs which are available and they are the growing evidence for of the success of the docking the first is the dorzolamide which acts on the carbonic and hydrolase enzyme and use as a diuretics the second drug is a sequinaver which is hiv protease inhibitor and use in the treatment of aids the genamivir is a neuraminidase inhibitor and also used in the treatment of aids the ribavirin is an inosine monophosphate dehydrogenase inhibitor and is used in the treatment of the viral hemorrhagic fever and this drug is also used in the treatment of covid which is also a growing evidence for the docking studies now we can also go for the research work by using this docking and here Uh, we can take an example of the computational analysis of organobismuth compounds and their potential application as anti-tumor agents. 
so this is the paper and we can go for this paper to check the utility of docking in the research so this is the paper this is the computational analysis of organobismuth compound and in this paper they have uses the 2VNA this 2VNA is the structure of a human zinc binding alcohol dehydrogenase enzyme which they have taken from the PDB data bank and they have bind this protein to different organobismuth compounds for their biological activities so if we go for further in the paper then these are the different softwares and online servers which are uh, which they have used the ncbi the pdb the pubchem open bubble bowl inspiration and finally the hex docking server for the docking this is the structure of the human zinc binding alcohol dehydrogenase enzyme in which this is the different pro, um, proteins of the enzyme and this is the ligand these are the uh, uh, different 2d and 3d structures of the ligand Uh, these uh, these are the different molecular property which helps to determine the different drug likeliness property in the molecule which is done by using mole inspiration and uh, this is the bioactivity score of different organobismuth compounds along with this this is the docking energy of the ligands these are the different organobismuth compounds which they have used and this is the docking energy so we can go for the minimum docking energy and this minimum docking en uh, energy can have different parameters as we have already discussed we can also go for the different types of the interactions which are present in the docking so we can also go for different types of the research by using this docking so this is all about different uh, fundamentals of molecular docking. Thank you. If you like this video, please do subscribe my channel and share with your friends.